video review, I'll be uh, reviewing the Nook HD tablet by Barnes & Noble. Uh, it's kind of in the same category as, say, the Nexus 7 or maybe the um, Kindle Fire HD. Uh, they actually stopped uh, making new versions of it uh, last year, but it is still available from Barnes & Noble. Uh, this is a 7-inch tablet, and it's actually priced, or it comes in two different... Um, Storage sizes, one is 8 gigabytes and one is 16 gigabytes. The 8 gigabyte version is $129 and the 16 gigabyte is $149. It also comes in two colors, uh, white and what well, I call slate, but it's black. And you see here it does have a decent sized bezel on it, but it's actually nice for holding without having to get uh, your fingerprints on the screen. Uh, this is the, what well, they call the snow version, which is the white version. Uh, basically just has one physical button on the bottom here, which is the Nook button. Uh, it has stereo speakers. Uh, and no camera. But it is a basic tablet, especially for $130. Uh, even at $150 for the 16 gigabit version, it's still about $80 cheaper than the Nexus 7. And it might not have the, the same specs, but it does work quite well. And I think it's definitely worth the money. Uh, basically, the specs are it's a 7-inch display diagonally. Uh, it's actually uh, 1440 by 900, which is uh, slightly better than the, the uh, basic HD, which is uh, 1280 by 720. Uh, it can play 720p videos and it can play 1080p video, even though that will be scaled down slightly. Uh, it weighs right around 300 grams. Uh, it's running Android 4.04. Uh, the CPU is a dual core Texas Instruments OMAP 4470 running at 1.3 gigahertz. Which again, it's not a, uh, exactly a screamer, but it does play YouTube videos, surfs the web, plays pretty much any content you put on there without too many problems, uh, which I'll be demonstrating in the, the, later in the video. The uh, GPO is a Power VR SGX 544. And again, it comes with either 8 or 16 gigabytes of onboard storage. Uh, it also comes with a micro SD card slot, which you can put in the bottom here underneath this flap uh, with capacities up to 64 gigabytes. Uh, the wireless is compatible with a 211 BGN. Uh, and also it uh, has Bluetooth. So let's see you turn it on. And what basically this is, is your, uh, you slide to unlock, like with most uh, Android devices. You slide up towards the middle to unlock. And you're actually allowed up to, I think it's five different uh, users on the tablet. And you get that by clicking up here. And then they call them Nook Profiles. And you could either edit your profile or add both adult profiles and child profiles. And of course, with child profiles, you could limit them, limit the account more so that they won't be able to purchase apps or do anything that will cost you money. And this is basically the main page. Now this is, I've been using this for a few weeks now so it has some extra icons that won't be there when you first buy it. But you're basically given five main home screens. You have your center one, then you have two off to the left, <clears throat> and two off to the right. And as you can see, you're allowed to put uh, app icons on the different home screens. And you also have these uh, shortcuts on the bottom, which are stay there. It's basically like a system tray, which gives you access to your library, to all your apps, uh, to a web browser, which is Chrome that's built in, to an email app, uh, which you can then connect to Pop3 and also Exchange, and also to the store. And up top here is what they call the active shelf, which is basically uh, kind of like different items from your library or from your apps that you've used recently. And it basically puts it in this kind of carousel interface here so you could go back to them. Uh, you could disable this in the settings if you like, or it can come in handy here. So it allows you to, to, to just click on it and open the app. So see here's like a calculator app. So if I click on that, then it opens up the calculator and then you can use the calculator. And then whenever you want to close an app, 
just hit the Nook button and that closes the app. Now down here in this button is basically your most recently used applications or books or whatever else you've used. So if you click on that, that'll give you a list of different apps or magazines or books that you've used on the device. It gets you an easy way to get back to that. And you could also click on the search my nook. And then if you type in something, so I start typing something Google and it'll give me the different uh, apps or, or books or magazines or what games that have that in the title. Now you have, with these buttons down below, if you click on library, it basically gives you a, a way to see everything that's stored on your Nook HD. Uh, and it does it in ways, it does it by category, so you have your books, any books you've purchased or downloaded. And you can read them just by clicking on them, and then magazines, and here they give two free magazines. Then you're allowed to, you could buy movies and TV from the uh, Nook store any apps you've downloaded or purchased, kids things, catalogs, newspapers. You could also create your own shelves and organize your content as you'd like. Uh, scrapbooks, which is basically a function where if you're say in a magazine or a book, there's a certain page you'd like to go back to later. Just click on, um, well, I'll show you later how to do that with scrapbooks. And also it does your personal files that you've installed on and downloaded to the Nook. And that'll be all listed here. So say if you want to go and read a book, here's a user guide that comes with the Nook HD. And here, are you into the book, but to change pages, once you've had the book open, basically just tap. And if you tap on the right side, that goes forward one page. If you tap on the left side, that goes back one page, or you could also swipe. And if you tap in the center, that gives you other options where you could either move ahead or behind in pages, jump right to a page, and then there's also different options here where you could go to the table of contents, you could highlight and make notes, go to bookmarks and lookups. Or that also gives you the option to change how the text looks. You could change different font, different size, you could change the spacing between the lines, the margins, uh, and even they have different themes that you could choose from. And then when you're finished with the book, you just hit the Nook button, I get you out of that. Then you have the apps button on the bottom, which basically lists all the apps that you've installed. Uh, they have their own Nook App Store, and you could also have access to the Google Play Store, so you could pretty much get everything you like from there. Then you have the Shop button, which brings you to uh, the store. You go to their the home, and this allows you to purchase books, as you can see, books, magazines, movies, and TV. Uh, they have a special kids section uh, directly to the apps that are available from, from Nook, newspapers and catalogs. And by the app section, this is basically the apps that they have available that you can store uh, and download, both free and paid for apps. And as you see here, you also have access to the Google Play Store. Now, not every app on here is going to be compatible, but when you click on them, it will tell you if it's compatible or not with your device. And then you can download or in or purchase the uh, apps. And now the web browser that comes with it by default, if you click on the web button, is Google Chrome. And it's the same, basically same version that's on, uh, you download for your Android phone. Uh, works very well in this. It's very quick switching back and forth and scrolling through. It's responsive. And as long as you're connected to a, a quick uh, Wi-Fi signal, 
uh, works very well. Now, if you want to add an app to any of your home screens, so here I have a bl blank home screen. If you just press and hold down, is your selection of you could do stuff from your library, you could do apps, you could change your wallpaper, and they have both uh, regular wallpapers and live wallpapers, which are the animated ones. You could do bookmarks if you have any, which I don't have any. And you could also do widgets. So you can scroll through your different apps, and if you want to add one, you just click on it, drag it, and let go. And if you, that's a good spot where you want it, click done, and now that's added to your home page. And you can do the same thing with widgets and with the wallpapers. You just choose the wallpaper you want to change to, and it will switch. And if you need to get to the settings to change anything, uh, like screen brightness or any other other settings, you just click up here in the upper right where it displays the time. And it gets you quickly so you could go up and increase your brightness, connect to a Wi-Fi network, put it into airplane mode, lock the rotation, and if you go into all settings, then that gives you basically all the different settings you can go to. So you have your wireless general settings, which is brightness, and you could change which keyboard you use and, and various other options. You can see all the applications and different categories that are on your Nook HD, count settings, backup settings, uh, storage management, which tells you both how much internal storage you have. And also, if you have an SD card installed, it'll show you uh, how much is on that. And then various different uh, settings there. And they also have the Your Nook Today, which basically gives you suggestions about different things they think that you might want to buy uh, based on what you've bought before. So you can kind of scroll through that and it also gives you the weather kind of by default there for your location. Just click it again. And basically uh, when you're done, there's a power button on the left side. So click it and that turns off the screen. Click it again, it brings it up. And then you can swipe to uh, or back in. Uh, there's also a volume rocker on the right side. And again, the power button is on the upper left side. So hopefully you found this uh, review useful. I think the Nook HD is a very good value, uh, again, for either $130 or $150, especially since you can buy a $20, $30 uh, micro SD card and expand the storage uh, by quite a bit. Uh, it, again, might not be quite as fast as, say, the Nexus 7 or the uh, Apple iPads, but uh, it's also a fraction of the price and uh, is very usable. And performance-wise, I haven't really had any issues with it. So hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, please uh, click like below. Consider subscribing to my channel. And also consider sharing this video uh, with others, either through Facebook or through uh, Twitter or Google+. Thank you.